Hey guys, we're back with Wyatt's Tractor Sales for another video. Uh, today we'll be showing you the highlights from the Missouri River Valley Steam Engine Association show in Boonville, Missouri. Uh, it was held this year in conjunction with the Missouri Alice Chalmers Club. So the video uh, that we're going to show you today, um, we got lots of small clips from different parts of the show. Um, some of the big commercial engines they have, um, some hit and miss engines. Uh, we got some watermelon sawing at Sawmill. Um, we got uh, some footage of the tractor games, and uh, and then we got some, some stuff from the parade. Um, so the parade was actually two and a half hours. Uh, they had a ton of tractors, and most of them went through the parade. Uh, so um, today we'll show you the uh, start of the parade. We'll show you the, uh, the steam engines, and then we'll show you um, the beginning of the Alice Chalmers tractors, uh, or the featured tractors, um, and then at the, in the next part of this video, we will show you the rest of the Alice Chalmers and the other tractors, so make sure to come back for part two. Um, but, uh, anyway, the, uh, the Missouri River Valley Steam Engine Association show, uh, they had a, a great show this year, and, uh, make sure to, uh, look them up and try to make it next year, because next year will be the um, National Oliver Show. Um, so they'll be featuring Oliver tractors. They'll have uh, tractors from all over the country there. Um, it'll be a spectacular show. Um, hopefully, hopefully I get to make it and get to make another video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, make sure to click that thumbs up down there. Um, if you aren't subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, that way you can see the second part of this video and other ones that we post like it. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll let you guys get to the video. Watch the field behind the plow Turn to straight dark rows Feel the trickle in your clothes Blow the dust cakes from your nose Hear the tractor steady roll No, you can't stop now With a quarter section more or less to go
just like you've been cut a little bit too. You got that boat board shined up. Now I'm coming out of ground. All right, well that'll be working over on the west, northwest corner of the ground. We got any more horses or are you the last one, sir? You're the only one. All right. Thank you for being here. We uh, sometimes have several horse teams and sometimes not so many, but we're happy to have come through because if you're going to study the history of agriculture, you've got to start out with horses that don't have any oxen here to do with that. Horses that steam and then crack. All right. I think we're going to move on to start with the gas train. We just steam it. So if I could get Jeff Kirk to head up this way with this Russell steam engine. You can hear me, Jeff. They are celebrating their 64th wedding anniversary today. I think you need to give them both a nice hand so they're still out here helping all the time. We appreciate that. That's a pretty good, that's a pretty good run. I uh, like that. I 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 like
This is the most oddballish thing I have ever seen in my life. We have tried to trace down that Clay Reed, president of the association. This is Hugh King's great grandson, Brandon. And we are guessing it to be somewhere in and around 1915, 1916. But it is a half track and in a, in an early version of a road grader. And it had a little four cylinder engine in it. And like I said, in 87, I said it is, it will steal the show. They, uh, it belongs to the association. Mr. King is long gone. Uh, Ray, Ray J is, is gone also. But anyway, it is the Seaman Association show. But uh, great grandson is driving it today. Give him a hand, take a picture of this one. You won't find another one very likely. You can see this thing work this morning, Miles. This is uh, Alice Chandler, and you've got the number on the phone. but we'll get him. This is a cane, cane tractor. came out of Risleyville, Louisiana. And uh, it's a 1945 model of a WC. Sugar cane the loading tractor. He's going to give a little demonstration of how that works. Dean and Mary Morris of Halfway, Missouri, own this piece, and they've taken it around and showed it all over the country. But it is extremely unusual, Miles. Now you may have one of those. You used to go down there and buy tractors. You used to go to Louisiana and buy stuff. <laughs> but you won't see one of these every day in this part of the world. Although I did ask Mr. Morris if he. Uh, if he had a lot of work with that, he said, oh yeah, I got all the work I need. Uh, they told me, they told me. The Morris family is very much involved in the uh, public show. Of course, it's now the uh, Halltown show, and it's this next weekend, our sister show, and it is a great show down in Halltown, Missouri. They've got a new uh, property, kind of like we did uh, 23 years ago, and they're going to enlarge our show dramatically. But, uh, Dean and Mary Morris. This is a working unit. It is a high crop, also on a high crop chassis, WC, and that. But uh, this is very odd and unique. Give him a nice hand, Mr. Dean Morris and his wife Mary.
five Alice Chalmer tractor, but he's got one of them that you just can't find anymore. Thank you, Carl. Next, we have Mr. Paul Bimmer from Sidonia, Missouri. Uh, WC uh, High Crop tractor, 1938. Got the factory uh, uh, tools on it, factory product. Cooper has a monstrous collection of tractors over. 